Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Hey there, AstroVentures. Welcome back. If you're new to this astrophotography channel, my name is George and this is the astrophotography channel for DSLR or mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses we already own and a simple star tracker like the Sky Guider Pro or the Star Adventurer. Today I wanted to talk to you about power management in the field. And before I get into what I'm doing, let me preface this with I'm not criticizing anything that anybody else does to each their own I'm about to share with you what I do. Take it or leave it, make your own decision. For myself, um, what I do is I use a 12 volt car battery to power my systems that I use during a night of astrophotography. Now what brought me to this? There's a lot of various lithium ion power packs that are out there on the market. and they're great, but they are quite pricey. And the other thing is, uh, I've heard from other astrophotographers in using them that they don't always uh, live up to what's advertised as far as the number of hours that they should expect to get out of their battery pack. And I was thinking about it, today's cars have so many electronics that are constantly drawing power off of a battery. Add to it, um, you know, you could leave a car sitting there for a week or two and it still starts up, even though all that power's been getting drawn. And so that's what brought me to the car battery. I figure by its sheer volume, this entire lead acid battery is, you know, lead plates and acid in there, as opposed to seeing some of the lithium ion packs that have been opened up. There's not that much actual lithium battery inside of those. And with the 12 volt battery it's quite a bit cheaper the full case is the volume of material inside for storing energy and you can pick them up relatively inexpensive i purchased this one which happens to be the the same output that my jeep uses but i purchased this one at walmart and i got it for a little under a hundred bucks quite a bit cheaper than a comparable lithium ion so from there, what I did is I headed to AutoZone because I had my power source, but I needed a way to uh, connect to my dew heater. And that's what actually started me down the road was needing to power that dew heater. And, and since then, I, I've had a lot of other equipment that's come in, such as my ASI Air. I've got an HEQ5 uh, Skywatcher and you know, all of this extra power stuff. But what got me started was that dew heater. So I went to AutoZone and the dew heater that I have wants a minimum recommended of two amps of output. And so went there, talked to my local rep. We started going through the different options. Here is from Roadproof, a simple little USB bank. And it has three 2.4 amp outputs and then on the mail-in plug-in, there's an additional two. So how I set this all up. Again, from AutoZone, I bought a simple little clamp-on 12-volt power outlet. I purchased the RoadProof USB bank. I plug it in, and now I'm all set. From here, I can run my dew heater, as I said, my ASA Air, my HEQ5. And as a matter of fact, the entire New Moon crew runs off of this battery. We just run some extensions out from each one of them. And by the end of the night, when I go home, just to make sure that I am getting the power that's needed, I'll check it with the voltmeter, and at the end of the night, the battery doesn't even notice that we've been drawing off of it for the last six, seven, eight hours. So it works incredibly well. It's a cheaper alternative. I paid 20 bucks for this USB bank. I paid a little under $100 for the battery. And then my outlet here, I think I paid 10 bucks for the little 
battery clamp on outlet and everything else is set I'm good to go and then in between uses what I will do is put this on a cost me ten dollars uh, from Harbor Freight there's a trickle charger that you can plug in put on the battery clamps and it'll keep this thing topped off so it's good and healthy for the next night of imaging so there you have it 12 volt car, volt car battery simple 12 volt outlet USB bank of 2.4 amp outputs and I can run everything I need to run for the night before I let you go if you're unaware uh, Astro Venture has started a Facebook group Astro Venture DSLR and there you can check out sometimes sneak peeks on some of the latest videos we're doing as well it's as it's a place to connect with the new moon crew and other astrophotographers in our particular genre of doing photography DSR, DSLR, mirrorless, camera lenses, star tracker and you can get in there and help uh, you know each other out get some information that you need it's a great forum staying within the niche that we're all shooting in until next time, I wish you clear skies and uneventful nights.